that we've been following, Shona's renovation on her house in Niagara on the Lake. And today we're focusing on the exterior. So first up is the garage door. And I have to say, Shones, I've never really thought of going out and buying a garage door because most homes, if you buy the home, it comes with the garage door and you just stick with it. So where do you recommend people shop for garage doors? You're totally right, Tracy. Like how even how often do you buy a garage door? So you want to get it right and you want to kind of know what you're doing. So I'm going to help. Okay, so great question. I totally absolutely recommend that you go to a company that specializes in garage doors. Because again, you're not making this purchase all the time. This could be one time purchase for the whole life of your house that you're living in the house anyway. So uh, so you want to get it right. And uh, I worked with Carwall and they were really fantastic because I didn't realize that there isn't a one size standard sizing for garage doors. All garage doors are different sizes. They're all made to measure. So the measurements of the doors have to be done to perfection for them to fit right. They also walked us through the insulation in the garage doors. So that was a world that I hadn't thought about before. I didn't know a lot about before. So I really leaned on them for their professional advice on that. And then the third thing that I think it's really important to go to the specialist for is your budget. So you may have love at first sight of the most stunning garage doors you've ever seen that are perfect for your house, but they might be out of budget. I mean, this is a realistic thing. We're, you know, we're dealing with an investment here. So important. Like those are all a great tips. What else should you be looking for? So there's two really important things that I think you have to keep in mind when you're looking for your garage doors. The very first one is the style. Like, does mm -hmm. it match your house? What style is your house? What goes with it? What are you trying to accomplish in your house? And you can narrow that down pretty easy to basically three style types. So you can do traditional, you can do contemporary, or you can do carriage house. So my doors here are, they're from Garaga, and they're in that carriage house type styling. It was a love at first sight for those for me, oh, I have yeah. to say. <laughs> um, but, but then once you pick your style, you can get into your more specific details. So the windows, what windows do you want along the top? I picked with those ones because they match the window style of the rest of the house. Then do you want any hardware on it? I really love that look of the carriage style where it would maybe look like it would open from the middle, but they're just traditional doors that go up with the automatic opener. And then things like the design, like the X on the doors there, that all spoke to the modern farmhouse, vineyard house that I'm doing here. And so once you personalize all of that, then you'll get that look you want. Of course, we picked white, but there's oodles of colors and styles and shapes and uh, uh, pretty much to match every style. I am drooling right now. Like, I'm expecting horses to come out of your garage. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Okay, so what is the second factor to consider? Okay, the second one I mentioned uh, earlier is insulation. I mean, how are you using your garage, especially nowadays? People are making it into personal gyms. They're using their garage for extended work from home places. So if you're using your garage for, you know, uh, leftover uh, Christmas decorations and storing bikes you don't ride anymore, and maybe if there's room, the car, then maybe the <laughs> insulation won't be as important to you. But although, is it attached to your house or is it detached from your house? That, that insulation is going to help with your uh, uh, efficiency of the heating of your home. But if you're using it for these other purposes, then you can bump up that insulation factor. So when you are, you know, doing your Pilates class in the morning or something like that, you're not going to freeze. It can be a really comfortable place. So that's a very important part that I think you should think about. These are great tips. And listen, if I ever have mortgage problems in Toronto, I would like to move into your garage, please, because I like those.